This is the battle to destiny, spirit versus the flesh. It keeps calling me, and every time I try to flee, it follows me. I should have never bit from its forbidden tree, because now I crave its sweetness, delicious. Build platforms to hold up idols of lust. Will and desire compete to see who's strong enough to unwind my brain for mental tug of war. It's always a tug of war game. I don't know the code. Consult with a jewelry that's still out so unnecessary. It ain't even that serious, but also necessary. It just keeps jumping. Stops harder than knocks, man. It hunts, singing, chills through my body, but I want it just as bad as it wants me. It's master of my fantasies, constructor of my will, got me feeding, not off desires, topped up, tricky boxes of toys make me fool to only rule me. Never know what I'm gonna get with this full of me, but it's so smart. I see strength in this world, but it don't need me. Throwing tantrums to get what it wants, kicking and screaming through my skin, transforming my will to it, I try to deny, crucify, double jeopardy, murderous repetition, inward collision that causes outward division. Seeking pleasure by any means, luxury in its deeds. Get satisfied and leaves the other side with no peace. And it cries, begging for say so. Just a small didactic piece. But this is a dictatorship, no freedom of speech. After we compromise, it lays low. Till its appetite once again takes control. It wants to take throne and be ruler of my soul, because we share the same mind. And it's never willing to leave me. But I gotta take control of flesh so my spirit. Can you free me? Laying in your bed and then feeling comes over you, wishing they were here to touch all over you. Only a phone call away, but you know they're not the one for you. So what do you do, love? You gotta choose, cause you were supposed to love me. That's what you said. That's what you promised, you promised me forever in a day, but the day was over before forever even came. So what am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you while you ride around with the next chick and call her your boo? Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> you did for me and yeah, I did for you, but guess what? Bet you never get no more of my money or my love. Because now I'm free as a dove. But if being free as a dove meant I was to get no more of your love, I would have rather been chained to a pole with you for the rest of my life. Cause without you I couldn't breathe anyway Like a claustrophobic woman Stuck in an elevator Full of big fat men Hands are touching me Bellies are rubbing me I'm struggling to breathe long enough To those elevator doors open up to my floor And I don't gotta feel this thing sweat anymore But for me, that was all just a metaphor My doors would have opened if you came back to me Told me you loved me and promised me you'd never leave Then once again I could but I woke up from that silly dream, old child. Such a foolish gal. You would have thought I would have learned from the first time around that this is not always supposed to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I was that fly chick, ride a die chick, stick by your side even when you lie. I just let the slide kind of chick. And even after all that, I still end up picking the short stick. Yeah, you know the ones that church girls pick with all their God said and thus saith the Lord. But every word that comes out there not falls to the floor like my heart did the day you said you had to shut the door. It reminds me of when Jesus said, it is finished. Yes, it is dead, but it did not kill me. Yet still I rise like the fist of a black woman that's been abused all her life. Man, you see these tears are probably not for me. I've been through worse things in my life than a nigga leaving me. I was born into a life of sin, shame, and poverty, but ever since you've been going, you've changed and dropping off of me. See, it's your loss. I'm still a boss. And now that I got my focus back, I've now settled for something so whack. It almost doesn't count. Yeah. But if I counted all I invested, I could almost buy a house. Nah. You see, you had it all wrong. I was your backbone, the ribs protecting you from harm. And even though my rib cracked, I became stronger when it healed back. So let me educate you and do what your mother failed to do. See, there's 24 ribs. 14 are connected and 10 are false. You were one of the 10, and like I said before, I'm still a boss. Yeah, I know what kind of woman I am. And it's 
it's been a long time, so go on, sit back, relax. I'm going to refresh your mind because when other females are trying to kill you, but I, I was there to build you, cook, clean, and heal you, wash men and fill you. What kind of chick you know walking away to get where she needs to go? I'm going to go get her. Please don't act like you didn't know because even if it meant laying down on pride, I was going to stand by your side because you was my man and you said I'd be your wife. So come on, man, I was going to stay because you said we was in this for life. The greatest part about this is God freed me before it was way too late. I could have made a major mistake. The Bible says a man that don't work don't eat, and I'm a big girl. You can't be starving. Me. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got just in time. Now God can give me what's mine. I deserve so much more, and I can't wait to see what he had in store. See, he let me practice on you while he prepared the real thing, boo. And he's going to find me like Boaz found Ruth, working diligently with my hands and always telling the truth. Oh, you think I'm fly now? You'll wait till I lose a few more pounds. Then I'm going to really shut it down. You're going to regret leaving me more than you are right now. See, God is taking me places you couldn't even go anyway. Matter of fact, you looking a little heavy, baby. Maybe you should lose some weight. The coldest part is I don't even miss you. Please don't think I'm trying to dish you. I just had to get this off of my chest so I could get over this issue. And now that I'm moving forward, I can no longer look back. Yeah, you love me the best you could, and I'm thankful for that. But everything happens for a reason, and I can't afford to miss God in this season. So as far as us, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Claim they broke your heart and you feel so betrayed. Can't quite comprehend how they could treat you this way. But you know you must forgive them because you were once forgiven too. So what do you do, love? You got to choose. Oh, what do you do? Because I sit and I wake in the music. And sometimes when I look on my face, you would think I was in a state of confusion, but that's just all an illusion. I am just amazed at how we could have chosen me. Me? I'm filthy, dirty, unworthy, and unclean. What possibly in me could God have seen? I mean, I am the product of a broken home. Father gone, stepdad on dope, leaving moms with three kids to raise alone. And even after I got grown, I made a few bad choices of my own. Like, I used to get high. No, like every single day. Wake up to a blunt and go to sleep the same way. Hey, what can I say? That's my escape. Or sometimes I would just drink my problems away. Getting on to get out of feeling the pain. But when it was all said and done, my trouble still remains. I lived in the hope of the promises men made that they weren't able to fulfill. So I became tough. Real tough. Especially when it came to males. Boy, you can get over me. Boy, please, I didn't got over on you. Hit it and quit it and keep it moving is what I do, girl. You know I do. Yeah, okay, so what? I could really care less. Because after giving my all to the last one, that's the same thing he said before he cut and left me alone. Fighting these generational curses that still try to leave her on. Fear coming every step I didn't take. I was so blinded by my past, I couldn't see that I was great. But today, I stand here changed. No longer remaining the same, because he who knows will always make a way. So I'm forgetting all the lanes and I'm stepping up my game. You see, I changed the way I walk. Changed the way I talk. My head is looking a little confused and I didn't react the way you thought I would. Because I am. But everybody in my past didn't want me to be. I'm moving in because my gift made room for me. Give me the spare key. I'm not going to all those who thought they could predict my destiny. See, y'all don't mind me. Because I know who my father be. And he's quite fond of me. And I'll be whoever he says I'll be. Because I learned that was mine is mine. From a man to a dime. My name is tattooed on it with ink as fine as the smoothest wine. Ladies, sometimes we forget that we are the prize. Then you get mad when you knew over a lot. Turning as bitter as the fruit as that made Adam change his mind. And yes, I stand here with the broken heart again. But I ain't mad at him. Because when my heart was broke before, God even it. I'm letting my past go so I can be free to love again. Unforgiveness is a sin that I ain't harboring because God is the truth. Consistency being his middle name, he never fails. He's always the same. If he said he would do it, and you can take that to the bank. And don't forget to change, because you know it's on its way. So lift up your heads, oh, he gates. There's going to be a bride today. He's opening doors that only the blind can see. Because when you're walking with Christ, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. Because when you fall in love with him, you automatically want to do what's right. There is no way to love in a man willing to lay down his life. Your love is unfailing, and yes, it is so true. Pour it over me, God, so all I see is you. So now I wake up every day with my heart full of anticipation. Basking in his glory, he never ceases to amaze me. Oh, Lord, that's why I praise thee. Fifthly and wonderfully, that has made me see I was chosen from birth. And the more I seek him, the more I learn.
heard my word, so I come to speak life. Be free in your heart and in your mind. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time to just hold on. Place fear, doubt, and unbelief with that anymore. Put him under your feet, right next to your enemies. Use them all the footstools to climb to your destiny. And if you're looking for me, in the center of my Father's love is where I'll be. Joy unspeakable be in the song I sing. Thank you for giving me peace. Thank you for giving me joy. Thank you for giving me hope. Thank you for showing me love. And I say thank you for all of these things you've given me. Thank you for giving me peace that passes all understanding. Because when I want to go bad or feeling crazy, you keep me in perfect peace. When I want to give up and I cannot make it, I remember the righteous are not forsaken. Thank you for giving me peace into my mind when it goes into overload, bringing anxiety into my soul. Because I don't know which way to go. You are the lamp unto my feet, the light unto my path. So I exhale and breathe, sit back and relax in the state of tranquility. Because in your presence, I'm giving the ultimate serenity. <laughs> <laughs> now I can smile. No, my God has worked it out. He has given me joy unspeakable. If I try to explain, I'm not hopeful. But when depression comes and I want to sink in, I can't because through the Lord's joy, I have the strength to make it through the darkest points in life. Mm -hmm. Smiling in the face, the anger and strife. Lord, you are my greatest delight. And sometimes that's what's happening, changes my happiness phase. But this joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. So I say, Thank you for giving me peace. Thank you for giving me joy. Thank you for giving me hope. Thank you for showing me love. And I say thank you for all of these things you've given me because now my mind is racing. Place your bets on the next thought that's going to fly out the gates of my lips at the next shot of stupidity someone decides to contaminate my ears with. Your feelings are not my issues. I have my own problems. Every day I'm dealing with this endless battle in my mind. No good thing dwells in this flesh in my one day I'm on no clouds on your seven. The next, I don't know if I'm gonna make it into heaven. Manic depression, all these highs and lows. I'm tired. I'm tired of myself and this constant need for help. Like I changed his name in my phone to say no. Now I'm getting weak. Ready to ride out on a late night creep and say, yes! Go, wait, 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 wait. It's been so many months to know when I can't just let all that go in one night. And my mama say, be strong, fight, pray, you'll be fine. But when I'm on horn with a wire, no Bible verses come to my mind. But when will I not think to compromise? Because when I would do good, evil is always present, knocking at the door, this constant tug of war. But how do we end up here again? Already collecting my money. On to the next level and the next dimension. Don't talk to me right now, because I really don't want to listen. Yeah, I know there's always a way of escape. Sometimes I feel like that road is too straight for the twists and turns in this life I may take in you. Man, you're always the same. Yesterday, today, forever, I change. My thoughts block like ice glaciers, sinking ships of hope and want exertion from this pressure. At this moment, I don't want to care about my witness. Forget this. You are dismissed. No matter of fact, I dismissed. Did not say don't talk to me. Matter of fact, don't even look at me. I feel like my thoughts will show like leprosy, and he claimed he want to be with me. Ha! I'm doing bad by myself. <laughs> be not weary and well doing for it. Do see that you shall reap if you're faint. Well, right now I ain't doing squid. <laughs> now the harvest is on hold, because I'm knocked out cold. But that stinky stuff under my nose to get me up, because I'm too far gone. Three snacks to wake me up from this hypnosis. Y'all gonna need a glass of water to help you swallow all these doses of my reality. Like, why can't I let go? I know that what's in that grave is rotten and decay, but think about what it could have been. No, let's think about what it was. Not exactly what I wanted, but hey, it was close enough. I loved. I wasn't alone, and I felt loved. And this whole time, I ain't been tripping, but now I'm angry, because this hold is too strong on my mind, and my soul's not. It's too tight for me to untie. Wow. When did I become so weak? Give me a drink. I'm that fool that wants to forget her misery. Well, how about a shot? Cause I need something strong for all these issues I got. And I just run away. I retreat. I need some peace. I gotta take back control of my mind. Cause this girl's going wild. Flashing my weaknesses and shortcomings. And now it's all out. I mean, I'm not who I used to be. But I feel bad for turning around. 
even if it is just mentally. Compromise so much, gain so little. Now I'm just stuck right here in the middle. And I know you know you need some help, but you let your pride stand in the way. You can't do this thing by yourself. So what do you do, love? You gotta choose your choice. Oh, you gotta choose your choice. He's waiting on you. It's your choice. I know sometimes you seem confused, but you know what to do. It's your. Now I've made up in my mind that I was gonna love him with everything. From the deepest part of me, give him all of me, and who in the hidden part I can see the I'm so content in his embrace, I can pledge him with praise for an eternity. Now he ain't never seen this side. I live in my full potential and make him proud of me. But I've been this way with him before. Hearing his promises, I'm expecting him and open doors, but I'm believe something. I've been so scared in the past that I avoided suppressing any memories and acting as though it wasn't important. But I'm over making unsatisfying decisions for people and things that don't even matter. Getting filled night after night with the words of a better life and then ending it with morning actors. If I don't go through with it this time, my life can end in a disaster. But wait, wait, wait. You see, this was different. When I looked at the test, I realized it was a positive and nothing negative can come of this. So I'm pregnant with my destiny and I'm keeping it. You know, this is supposed to be a joyous occasion, the time of conception. But what I feel right now is my gas and indigestion. My body is moving, changing, shaping into something I can't identify. Uncomfortable fears and tears, man, all of this just to get to the other side. My cravings have changed. Things I used to enjoy don't even taste the same. I'm feeling this unusual, intolerable pain. Unable to take the meds I normally use to take off the edge because they're toxic for what's inside of me. In a few moments of relief, Oh, aren't worth the risk of my destiny being born with a deformity, so I fight through the pain. Then other days I'm juice. That any such greatness can be produced, I feel you kicking me, punching me, forcing me to remember that you are inside, moving, growing, expanding. You will become alive. I hear your silent cries and feed me. Not junk for nourishment, so I don't become a preemie. Your limbs, organs, and fingers are the penalty so what I was told would be bigger than I ever imagined, greater than I ever dreamed, exceeding. And abundant me above all I can ask for things so I rub you. As you sometimes move me in an uncomfortable position, I talk to you and pray God sends his provisions and helps me to keep making the right decisions because I can't wait to see you. Man, in you all my dreams are fulfilled. Wait, sometimes I don't believe this is real. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> you mean to tell me I gotta do this by myself? Without anybody else? But it's too late to retreat. I'm too far along and I'm anyway too deep. Now it's all up to me to fulfill my own destiny. But am I ready? Oh, God, my water just broke. Breaking the barrier between revelation and manifestation. Now it's time to go. There'll be no more procrastination. When faith and hope is my midwives, it's no question it's my due time to deliver. Now everyone can see, because I'm leaking fluidly who I was meant to be. But am I ready? Oh, God. This hurts. Feels like I've been hit by a car. I didn't know giving birth would be so hard. Who would have known intimacy would take you this far? My contractions are too close for epidural dose, so we gotta do it all natural. You slander in my name? Baby, that's just labor pains. Friends not treating me the same as only labor pains when my chains are to look a little strange, but so what? Because now Destiny's heart is beating louder than my own, forcing me in the birthing position. Now it's time to go. My feet in the stubs and my legs are wide. Everybody watching as I experience the worst pain of my life, and now you telling me to push? <laughs> push? I don't want to push. I'm in pain, and I don't want to push, but I inhale and I push. I push past my past. I have to believe that everything I've been through was to prepare me for this moment. I push past the unwise thoughts telling me I don't qualify for a responsibility that weighs so much. I push past my emotions 
make her the lover of my soul and in you I put my hope. So I push this. Thank you for all you've done. I know that every battle that is to come has already been won because you have given me the strength to push. So I push and 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 I push until I feel a relief. And now that I see my destiny in this newborn state, I believe in a mature to something great. But I got to stay focused, keep the faith, and know what's worth the wait. And I know if I keep pushing, freedom's on the way. But gotta push. God bless you.